Welcome uh, to the August 15th, 2024 Massachusetts Pirate Party member meeting. Um, I'm James O'Keefe, Somerville. Could others identify? Steve Revelak, Arlington. Eli McGee, Lemonster. Is there anything to add to the agenda? Nothing here. Nothing here. All right, so um, let's see. In terms of reports, um, last week we <clears throat> um, uh, Digital Fourth, which is the Massachusetts chapter of Restore the Fourth, uh, the Massachusetts ACLU, uh, myself and others, uh, appeared before Cambridge City Council meeting to advocate about not installing additional police surveillance cameras in Central Square. And it looks like that's at least been postponed till September. I believe one of the members put a hold on it. Um, but uh, we'll probably need to turn out more people if uh, we're going to stop it. They're using, using I think, unused federal, federal money, if I recall correctly. So it wouldn't cost the city of Cambridge, uh, except, you know, in wasted time. Um, <clears throat> uh, email update went out about that and the upcoming events. Um, and... I'll do the event update in the events section. Uh, any other reports? Nothing here. Nothing here either. All right. Um, any uh, US Pirate Party issues that we should be uh, aware of? No, the past couple of weeks have just been fairly useless meetings, but nothing. No major changes or anything? Or no changes in general, now that I think about it. Just meetings. Any uh, Anything coming up that we should be aware of? Not that I can remember. Uh, admittedly, I didn't take the best notes, but I don't think there's anything major coming up. OK. So in terms of projects, events, we have two events coming up. Uh, the Worcester Pride Festival, we requested a table, have not received notification back as to whether uh, we can, whether that we'll, we'll have the table or not. Um, not sure when that will be, hopefully soon, since I believe the, the event is the 7th of September. And then uh also put in a request for a table at the boston anarchist book fair um and waiting to hear back from that as well um so we'll see uh local updates um aside from the stuff in cambridge haven't really seen much of anything um so for the video newsletter podcast, um, are we good for this Sunday? I will be away on vacation. Nice. Good for you. Um, what about you, Eli? I should be available. Okay. I'll check with Joe as well. Um, and then the I won't be able to make the following weekend, but I'll be able to make the weekend after that. So, uh, so if someone else wants to run it, by all means, that would be great. All right. Um, so the media outreach um, is my plan for this weekend <laughs> to get that done. Uh, sorry about that, Eli. Um, just too many things to juggle. All right. So 
voter outreach, um, which brings up uh, voter outreach is, of course, related to the upcoming elections. And I don't yet know who the presidential candidates will be. Um, I believe there'll be, of course, a Democrat, the Democrats, the Republicans, and I think the Libertarians will be on. I think they have ballot status. Um, I I've don't looked, know. Sorry, go, Steve. I was going to say, I looked at the Libertarian primary ballot for Massachusetts, and there were no uh, candidates for any office. Uh, so I that makes me think they may not have a presidential candidate or well, yeah, maybe, or at least they're not, if they do have a presidential candidate, they will not be on the ballot in Massachusetts. So in, in Massachusetts, a party that has ballot access, all they have to do is tell the secretary of state um, who the candidates will be on their primary and so if they didn't put it on, that's kind of worrying because literally you have to, that, you, all you have to do is give them a list, right? Um, and, but, you know, th then come the general election, they just say who the candidate is. So uh, hopefully it will be their nominee who's the top listed candidate here um, just for them. But... I am intrigued by the fact that the that uh, other got sixty one over sixty one percent of the vote. Yeah, that that is high. I don't know if it's lack of uh, name recognition or, I mean, I know that the libertarians have been undergoing a bit of a schism with um, pro Trump people. Um, Oh, I, there is a note at the bottom. Other includes votes for no preference, which was 3,982, which mm -hmm. is still a big chunk. And yeah. all others, 2,000, you know, other write-ins, which was 2,161, which is still higher than any individual candidate got. Yeah. So I think they're still figuring things out. Maybe. Well, hopefully for, hopefully for them, they, they have a candidate on the ballot. And then last I knew the party for the, the Greens were definitely running a candidate. The party for uh, Socialism and Libertarian, I know they were gathering signatures. Um, and then RFK Jr., Cornell West. I don't know anyone else. So I don't know. I mean, I, I guess we uh, will have to see. Um, but there are a bunch of ballot questions on. This is the list here as far as I know. Um, do we want to put out a poll of our members in the next email update saying, hey, you know, what's your position on these particular, or what's your feeling on these particular issues? And then give them the information about the questions and. Yeah, you know. I think that would be cool. Um, you know, speaking for myself, I there are four of them I have, you know, I, I think I have decided opinions upon and one that I don't. So, um, yeah, it would be interesting to see what, uh, what other pirates think. Okay. What do you think, Eli? Uh, that's that's a good idea. Okay. All right. Uh, so we can put that poll together, and it's you know non-binding, <laughs> but uh, um, but you know if if people if if supporters are overwhelmingly for one, that's certainly an indication. Uh, we does it make sense to put in like. You know, for each question, like, give us your thoughts on this. You can always use that. Yeah, I, that never hurts. Hmm. You know, it, it'll make for a good for a good blog post anyway. Sure, that's certainly the case. All right. Um, okay, and then we can do links to the questions. And uh, so, which which is the one? 
how many state are at the legislature? Repeal the requirement for MCAS. Union and collective bargaining for transportation network drivers. So is this, I don't know, did, did Uber ever get their bill on? Or I thought question three was from the unions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know that there is a question about whether, you know, whether that, um, transportation, transportation network drivers can, like Uber and Lyft drivers can form, whether they should be allowed to for, form unions. Um, I personally think the answer to that should obviously be yes. <laughs> Anyone should be able to form a union. Um, but. All right. Um, yeah, I just keep, I keep seeing all of their ads about how everything's rosy and all the people are, you know, all, all, all the gig workers are just, you know, drinking milk and honey. Um, well, then in that case, there should be no issue with letting them unionize because the negotiations will be a piece of cake because they're already happy. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, um, and then also on the list is uh, contacting emailing all the cities and towns do we have a do steve when you set up the the contact information for all the cities and towns did you put it into a uh a, a, a CVCRM group or something i did but i would i don't remember what the name of the group was okay all right so i mean finding one um one of those entries and um, you know, it'll probably have a group membership that contains a whole bunch of the other entries. Okay. All right. Well, aim, we should aim to get that out by the end of August because we really need to get those and then figure out contacting them. Um, all right. So 2025 will be local campaigns and we've got a list of um actions to do um so for the video some of them are covered but it probably makes sense to update them as we have done in the past mm -hmm. um why don't we put some so if we go to um what is it mass we go to massachusetts municipal association they have a list of They have a list of dates when, uh, huh. I know this may be useful for you, Steve, promoting civil discourse at town meeting. Yeah. Um, oh, that, that, would, that would be an interesting one to read, digitizing municipal records. Forms of, okay, so there's forms of government. Uh, where is it? There's, they have a document that is on the dates. Mm -hmm. 
Well, rather than kind of go through all of this, um, <clears throat> if if I got this document to someone, which I think is PDF, is there someone who could turn it into like a spreadsheet of dates so we could be able to sort them? And then I can figure out. Sorry, go on, Steve. I, I can try. Okay. And then that way we can know, you know, what the first dates are, what, what the what the first elections are, and we can contact those uh, towns since they'll be the towns will only have their elections earlier in the year, and then say like, okay, when do candidates need to get, you know, when do they need to get their nomination papers in, and how many signatures do they get, and then. Maybe that's something we can go through said spreadsheet and kind of fill in at least for the first couple, first month or two. And then that'll give us a sense of when do we need people to be ready to run for town meeting member or select board or city or school committee or whatever. Does that work? Yeah, I think that sounds reasonable. Okay. So then we have that by next so then we have that by our next meeting, um, which uh, would be September 5th. And then, then we have two weeks to contact the first set of the earliest towns and figure out dates and have those ready for the 19th. Um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then with that in, in place, we can figure out the timeline for getting ready. I mean, that still gives us three months in this year or three and a half months this year. Um, the first elections are going to be January. So I wouldn't think candidates would need to have their signatures in three months before what what is what's what is it in arlington do you remember steve like the difference between when the election is and when you have to get your signatures in i mean it was something like a month that that is my vague recollection okay so with any luck people could have october and november to get ready um and then town meeting member as you can attest, is like 10 signatures to go in the ballot. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. Um, and then from that, um, I will go over the videos that we have. Um, and then we can, I'll, I'll look at, seeing what what we would need for like city town uh and like elected town meeting um elections and then kind of structure it that way so it'd be like you're interested in this go this path and then you know i mean you can do get out the vote for town meeting but <laughs> probably not a not that vital i mean doesn't hurt Never hurts. Go to you know, get out the vote. It's always a good thing. So, um, all right. So I guess that's the plan for the next several weeks. Sounds good. All right. Uh, anything else? Nothing here. Nothing for me. All righty then. Uh, well, thank you both for uh, coming out to this meeting. Um, just for those those who are watching, you know, every other Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, you are welcome to join us. The uh, links on our website at masspirates.org. Um, you too can be part of Massachusetts Pirate Party and chart its future. Uh, steer its future. 
Uh, we also have open positions on our Pirate Council. So if that's something you want to do, contact us at info at masspirates.org. And with that, I shall stop the recording. Uh, thank you for watching, and thank you, Eli and Steve. And hope to see uh, hope to see you, Eli, on Sunday. Bye.